let us now study about the capacitive reactance okay so earlier we derived these things okay you know right now you just remember this one that is uh, current here okay this i is equal to we got here that is i this one we got the equation that's vm by 1 divided by c omega into sine of omega t plus pi by 2 okay we got this now okay and then you also after the next step we got i is equal to i m into sine of omega t plus pi by 2 okay we got this equation okay this for a capacitor for a resistor circuit what happens we got here this i is equal to okay i instead of i m we got here v by r into sine of omega t okay and next we got i is equal to i m into sine omega t this for resistor okay these are for resistors circuit and this is for top one is for capacitor circuit okay this for capacitor circuit for a circuit with a capacitor okay not writing fully thing fully thing okay so what happens is we understand that i m is equal to v m by 1 by c omega okay so we know that This I, so I m is equal to V m by 1 by C omega okay. for okay, a circuit containing capacitor only, AC circuit or AC circuit containing only capacitor, containing only capacitor. Okay. This we already know. Okay. Next we also see that I is equal to, sorry, I m is equal to V by R. Okay. You can see that I m and this V by R. You can see this now. Okay. And here also. So I m is equal to V by R. Okay. For what? For AC circuit containing resistor only. Okay. Containing only resistor. Take a chop channel. Okay, and there's only resistor. So what we can find that is R is equal to 1 by C omega. That is the resistance. Okay, it is this value. Okay, this we say capacitive reactance. Okay. So we can say that now if comparing this, we can see that the capacitive reactance Xc is equal to 1 divided by C omega. Okay. So this is what is very very important now. This is 1. One divided by C omega. So this X C V is today this capacitive reactance. Capacitive reactance. Yeah. Okay. So let us see now what will happen for capacitive reactance for uh, DC and what's capacitive reactance for AC that we'll study now. Okay, let me erase this part here. Okay, let's now see what happens to a capacitor when you supply AC to it and DC voltage to it. Okay. So we can say that in this case, capacitor okay, blocks DC, okay, blocks the direct current, okay, but allows AC, okay, allows the AC. It's a reverse of that uh, inductor. Okay. So let's see how it blocks DC. Okay. For DC voltage, okay, the frequency is equal to zero. Okay. So let's see the equation here. XC Okay, this capacitive reactance is equal to 1 divided by c omega now. So c omega we can write as 2 pi f. Okay, so in this equation I write here f here. f is equal to 0. So what you get is 1 divided by c into 2 pi into 0. So 1 by 0 is so how much it is. Okay, so this term will become 0. So 1 by 0. So 1 by 0 is equal to what we get here? We get here infinity. Okay, so we can say that the capacitive reactance okay, x e will be equal to infinity. That means the capacitor produces, pro, provides infinite resistance for DC voltage. That means infinite resistance means what? It does not allow the DC voltage to pass through itself. Okay. Actually, you see it's capacitors like this way. Okay. So current, direct current cannot pass through. Okay. Current means to, uh, flow of charges now. Okay. It cannot pass through this thing. Okay. So capacitor will block the DC. This is very, very important here. Okay. So uh, this is about the AC circuit containing only capacitor. Thank you for watching.